office politics, two words that can make even the most hardened professionals cringe. But the reality is, office politics is a part of our working lives, and if we want to succeed, we need to develop strategies to navigate it effectively. Have you ever walked into the office and sensed an underlying tension in the air, only to discover that it's because of a heated argument between two colleagues the day before? Or maybe you've been left out of a crucial meeting because someone else has the boss's ear? Office politics can be toxic and it's time we take control. One of the biggest challenges we face due to office politics is favoritism. You know, when your colleague is getting all the attention and recognition just because they're buddies with the boss, it's frustrating and it can make you feel like you're not being valued for your work. Then there's gossip, the ultimate productivity killer. When everyone's too busy discussing the latest office rumors, it's hard to focus on actual work. And of course, there's conflict, the number one reason for most office dramas. But what if I told you there's a way to rise above all this drama and become immune to office politics? It's not about being naive or ignoring the issue. It's about developing a strategy that helps you stay focused on what really matters, your work. The strategy I'm talking about is called value-based leadership. It's simple yet powerful, and it's all about leading by example and focusing on what you can control. The core principle is to prioritize your tasks based on their value to the organization, rather than trying to please your colleagues or boss. This way, you're not worried about who's getting the most attention or who's getting promoted next. You're focused on delivering results that benefit the company as a whole. In practice, this means setting clear goals and priorities, communicating effectively with your team, and taking ownership of your projects. It's not about being a hero or trying to save the day, it's about being a professional who gets the job done. And the best part? When you focus on adding value, you naturally start to build trust and credibility with your colleagues and superiors. I remember a story of an employee who was really struggling to fit in with his team. He was constantly getting into conflicts and was on the verge of getting fired. But then he discovered the concept of value-based leadership and everything changed. He started focusing on his work, prioritizing tasks based on their impact and communicating effectively with his colleagues. And you know what? Not only did he become an indispensable member of the team, but he also got promoted within six months. So to summarize, developing a strategy like value-based leadership is crucial to navigating office politics effectively. By prioritizing your tasks, communicating effectively, and leading by example, you can stay focused on what really matters, your work. And when you do that, you naturally become immune to office politics. Thanks for watching, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Have you ever struggled with office politics, and what strategies have you used to overcome them? And if you want to learn more about workplace success strategies, be sure to check out my next video.